Hello everybody, welcome to my first round Champions Cup match um, against Cyclops. He actually sacked a player so that I didn't get any, um, I didn't get a wizard because um, obviously the wizard was the big inducement so he, he decided to sack a player so I wouldn't get an a wizard. He paid 50k out of his treasury to get a Budweiser babe so I ended up 100 TV down so I bought an extra reroll so I had four rerolls. I considered going for the Apothecary or a Bribe. It was a pretty tough choice, actually. But I thought, seeing as I'm down TV, he's got lots of blodge. Um, I, you know, with four rerolls, I can make more dodges, push my luck more, try extra things. If I'd gone with the Apo and 12 players, obviously I'd have been future-proofed for the next round a little bit. Because um, I, I, did, I did fancy myself to win this match, um, even without a Wizard. And then obviously the bribe, if I got down any of his blodges, I could foul them a bit. So, um, but I went for the, I, I thought, basically, I thought the ap the apothecary and the bribe help me if things go well. But the reroll helped me if things go badly, so that's why I went with that. So he decided to receive in the rain. Um, you know, we've both got Agility 5 to, to pick up with, so um, that was kind of fair. He's got two Agility 5, he's got Agility 5, Russell Stripper. Dodge, Agility 5, Blitzer, Strength 4, Blodge Step, Guard, Blodge Step, he's got 8 Blodge I think, I had like 7 Blodge though, Strength 4, Rackle, Witch, obviously amazing, Block Tackle, Diving Tackle, Sidestep Witch, Movement 9, amazing one turn guy, and Agility 5, Sure Hands, obviously Agility 5, Sure Hands was to counteract his Stripper, and then also to capitalise off any Wizards if I was to amazingly get them. So I'm showing them from his point of view just because it's something that VGP does in his casts. And I kind of like, it's obviously going to give me a different perspective on how the match went and it's easy to see whose drive it is. So yeah, he did, did choose to kick, which I think was fair. Um, receive. I would have chosen receive as well, even in the rain, purely because if it goes, or also four rerolls is if it goes to overtime as well, isn't it? You know, so I think... If it goes to overtime, one half re rolls. Um, so with overtime being consideration, I think receiving was the right decision. Um, yeah. So yeah, I just did the standard rule of five, protect all my five best players there. Well, even though I've only got four good players, really. And he got to catch it with a catcher, which was. A bit sad for me because he's obviously got the that's his best ball carry isn't it strength for blodge step tackle but it does also mean that <laughs> now <laughs> i'll confess right here right i thought i had a wizard and i thought oh well it's shit that he's got it on his strength for blodge stepper but at least when i bolt him you know that's going to be a really good bolt there isn't it against armor seven so like an idiot i'm thinking i've got a wizard here from turn one Which is pretty bad. You can see that Champions Cup logo there. That's a bit. There's no spoiler for the length of the match. There could be over time. Nobody knows. So I think that's a good little addition. Thank you for the people who, who told me to add that. And goes for the Roger and gets the boat down. So so at this point I'm like, oh man, if I'd had the if I'd had the bribe, I could have blitzed the dirty player and like got a four man four or five man gang foul here. So, so it was really funny. I was really concentrated. I was really concentrated. And um, and every turn I was thinking, like, should I fireball? Should I bolt? Um, what should I do? Yeah, you think I should switch the view side because it's my match? I don't know. I kind of I can't like seeing it from the other, the other angle, you know? I was the Dark Elves, in case you didn't know. Um, I'm just doing this to see see what it's like, you know, from his point of view. Maybe I'll switch back and put other ones. I could have hit the catcher, but he sidestepped, so I'd have had to put two players on him um, to stop the odd blitz with a wrestle. I didn't want to blitz with a wrestle. I didn't care. I thought if he scores this turn, I'm happy with it. I'd rather hit a defenseless person for the 75% knockdown. Huh. 
So obviously didn't stand these well. I think one or two were stunned, but didn't want to stand anybody up. Yeah, so he goes he goes quite hard down here, and I'm thinking he's gone quite hard here. Should I should I fireball these these four? And I'm like, oh god, I could fireball five. <laughs> and I'm just thinking about fireballing, and I haven't even got a wizard. I'm like, the, I'm like, no, I've got to use a bolt. So I'm like, right, I won't use the wizard this turn. And I'm thinking this every turn. I'm thinking about the wizard. So so fucking stupid. And I was like, I was like, actually, if I if I base him a bit here. I can put him under pressure, and then I can wizard next turn. <laughs> but I did not have, I did not have a wizard. I, but I was re it was funny how I was so. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow, CJ Blackburn. Um, yeah, so I, all for the first five, for the first five turns, I was thinking that I had a wizard. Crazy. Blitzed him again, going for the kind of defenseless player because obviously I've got block and tackle, so his dodge means that he's defenseless. So I was just going for the high percentage knockdowns rather than the um, blood step. Huge Kaz there actually, and he appoed it. I think he had to appo it. I think it was the right decision for him appoing it. Um, I actually wanted to, to, you know, get a push before the pow or get a power on the both down, so that would be basing the catcher with diamond tackle. I made a GFI there. Because I thought if he blitzes him and powers him, he can make a really good cage down here. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have GFI'd there. Maybe I should have kept a, kept the witch central so he couldn't double back. Because obviously the double back was quite on. But still, because he had people base, it wasn't so amazing. Glorious. BLGF. Thank you very much for the reso, but non I nonsensical. Thank you for staying fantastic. Um, <laughs> thank you very, very much. So yeah, he's he's gone back to the middle, as, as I thought he would. So I didn't really want to GFI there. Maybe I should have kept the Witch central. And I'm all, also, if you notice the Agility 5 here, I'm trying to keep the Agility 5 central so that if I bolt, he can recover it. And I'm just thinking about the wizard for, for the first five turns. Holy shit. And you see, this guy wasn't tagged by the Diamond Tackle because I'd got the both down, so I was a bit sad about that. I just got a re-roll Pedro Jack um, because he had sacked a player, so I couldn't get a wizard. Thank you for the follow, Scory576. So, yeah, and then, see, because he's got blood step, it, it takes a double commitment, doesn't it, to hit him? Um, because there's, with the frenzy, so... That's why I didn't really want to hit him earlier, but there was no one else to hit, really, this turn, I thought. I'll get my guy central again. Didn't want to give up this side, because he had more players this side, so I didn't really want to give up this side to him that much. But then I was like, well, I'm movement nine anyway, so I can always just go back that side. And obviously I didn't want to, I didn't want to not knock this guy down. Yeah, and he scummed a babe as well, which is fair enough. Rolled some pushes. Double push on the catcher, push on him. Got a power there, though. Into a cheeky stun. And with that stun, now I know he's going down this side. Um, but not much I could do about it, I don't think. See, I, I've got Major League 5 here free in case there's a wizard. <laughs> and another push. That was that was really disappointing. I thought if I powered him there, it's going to be a lot harder for him to um, get down this side. Listen to the carrier is a bit, I don't want to say bad, but a bit dubious. I think he could have made better plays than what he did here. He could have brought him in there, blocked him and blitzed him or something and bust through here, I think. But he didn't. And he, he powered me Blodger. I mean, if that had been a push, he'd have been in a, in a sticky situation with, a, with, the, with the imaginary wizard that I had in my hand, I was thinking. <laughs> 
I will exactly show you the, mo the moment where I decide to use the wizard and then realize I don't have it. And tackle. Tackle. Didn't even need the diving tackle. The tackle did the job. Obviously, I had a oh, diving tackle there. Um, so now, I, I briefly think about the wizard, but think it's too well protected. Just go for the hit here. Obviously hitting his wrestler with my wrestler, so that's why I chose the the strength 4 wrestle. Saves an, saves an assist and a both down is going to be a wrestle anyway. Oh, the alerts are frozen. Thank you guys. Sorry about the alert box. Maybe I should have turned it off for this anyway. At least, at least the resub worked. Um... So yeah, you know, just trying to make some blocks here. Plan. Just don't. I really don't want to break through because I'm thinking. I'm thinking at this point, you know, I can stop him. And obviously, with the wizard, turn him over. I think I'm gonna get the turnover with the wizard. That's why he's in the middle here, ready, ready wherever he goes. I'm gonna have the agility five sure hands pick up. Otherwise, I would have used him differently. Um, <laughs> but I just kept thinking about it. And this, he was pretty unlucky here, to be fair. He did the both down, then he got the push. You know, and he's, he's got tackle, so he was pretty unlucky there. And um, and then he, he typed rethink <laughs> and went back. Obviously, getting the power there isn't, isn't really lucky because he's got tackle. Right, so it's it's four turns I've played like I've like I've thought I had a wizard. So at this po it's at this point, I I think to myself, <laughs> I can bolt the carrier here, and then move him in, dodge out, and surf the agility five. I'm like, oh my god, it's game over. I've, I like I'm I've, I just think to myself I've won, and then I mouse over and, <laughs> and I see the apothecary and I don't see a wizard and I'm like. Oh yeah, he's only got 11 players that don't have a wizard. But I th a wizard would mean devastating, wouldn't it? Bolt here and surf, and surf the agility 5. But I'm like... So I think to myself, do I surf the agility 5? Maybe get counter surfed? Or do I... Um, or do I make the 75% the dodging? Because obviously I've got him to lend the assist. So I, I, descent, I decide to go for the 75. And I, I mess up here as well. Because obviously he's got sidestep, so I should have gone here, um, but I went here because I was just thinking I'll push him, push him there, and then there. But I was wrong because he, he's got he's got sidestep, so I, I misplayed there. Got a lucky pal, and then yeah, and then I went for the. I went for the the four plus. Maybe I should have just surfed this guy. You know, because he's sure, sure his, his guy's got tackle. But if I put him there, served him, I could have dodged out and then come back in here or something. I think that's what I should have done. Should have played, probably played it safe. But instead, got KO'd. Failed my 75% dodge and got KO'd for my trouble. And I'm like, crap, now he's probably going to score because it's pretty exposed down here, isn't it? And he's got, an, he's got a strength 4 blodge carrier and one of my two tackles just been knocked out so um i think i probably just should have served as agility five there played it safe blitzing with a carrier again of course i mean against a defenseless guy it's a much much better idea isn't it and he can just dodge his, his guys out and have it pretty protected so yeah i probably should have played it safe got the surf on his agility five. I mean, it was a great play at the surf, really, wasn't it? So I think you, there's a good argument for that being a misplay. I, I needed the strength four, which elf to um, to get in. Obviously, the bad point of marking him with my blood step diamond tackle was it would just allowed him to block me. But at this point, I'm thinking I can get the ball this turn, potentially, which is why I sidestep nearer the ball. I 
And then with the last second, time running out, he gets in front to make it safe, and I'm like, damn. If he'd failed that, though, I think I was I was going to go for dodges here and um, try to get two dice. I think I could have got two dice on him with the agility five dodging through. and you know I think I could have got two dice with tackle. But I'm like, right, back to playing safe again then. So yeah, I think that rush of blood that I had on turn five, I should have just gone for the surf. But never mind. Obviously, go for a surf here, but um, just get a pound instead and a Kaz, which is pretty good. And base the ball with diving tackle. And now at this point, I probably fuck up here because I try to deal with a tackler, so he can't he can't tackle. Um, you can't tackle my witch elf and then do a handoff or a, a pass with the ball carrier, right? I want I want to make him blitz with the ball carrier rather than somebody else so that he doesn't just hand off to this this guy. But maybe I should have just put three players here or something to kind of stop the switch because the switch play is so on, isn't it? It's a pretty pretty easy switch play for him. Um, you know, out to here and then run down the sideline and make it safe. So... Like, he could have just passed here and then handed off. As it turned out, would have been would have been the best play for him, I think. But yeah, that that was my thinking was just make sure he has to blitz. But yeah, yeah, he could have just passed it. I didn't I didn't even think of him just passing out. So I I think I misplayed there. Makes the blitz, gets the power. Obviously, he's got tackle, but I mean, if he just got a push there, he was in a he was in a lot of trouble because I was sidestep to here, and then obviously I sidestep to the correct square there, so he has to go through tackle zone. And very luckily for me, he won in nines. But because he got the stun, I don't get the easy sack. <laughs> so now I'm still like I have to do this crazy dodge around, double GFI, or just maybe just one GFI. No, double GFI. Use the re-roll, get the really lucky pow. Because, I mean, if I don't get the pow, he just sidesteps and, and get the Kaz. So I was outrageously... I mean, I was absolutely outrageously lucky there, wasn't I? Getting the pow into the injury. Um, he got a kind of a good scatter, though. But, yeah. I would have used the wizard had I had it. <laughs> and let's see, did I misplay here? Yeah, maybe I could have just passed from here or here and not given the intercept. But I just thought he had the chance to intercept. And his agility 5. I guess it wouldn't have mattered with the rain. Um, but I went to the sideline, passed it, and fucked off. And then I made the GFI so he couldn't one dice blitz me. Um, obviously, I couldn't block him either because he's sidestepped. So if I blocked him, he would have just got closer. But I did block this guy. So that all happened pretty fast there, didn't it? The pickup. It was a 4 plus pickup in two tackle zones. The pass would have been a 2 plus because I'm agility 5. So I could have just passed from here. But it's whether he could have had the intercept. I didn't know if he'd have the intercept chance or not. And I didn't want to let him have the intercept chance. But um, he did. it did give up the surf, obviously. Um, and he KO'd me, which is pretty bad. But yeah, movement 9 was pretty good there, wasn't it? He just did one. And, and may, maybe I shouldn't have made the GFIs. Maybe I should have. Um, maybe I should have uh, just let him there and made him make the rolls to one dice pound me. But then, and then obviously, at least I wouldn't have given up the serve if he'd gone for that. So may, may, maybe, I, maybe I misplayed making the GFIs. And he uh, he failed a dodge and got KO'd. So, I mean, that's really good attrition for me, isn't it? That's three Kaz I've caused, because he's appled one. And he's got two really good players knocked out, so crucial KO rolls. So, yeah, obviously I'm like, I've got to make a... Got to make a three, three dice blitz, haven't I? Sadly, no. No pal. And then it gives us the chance of the uh, of the jump up block. Into nothing. 
would have felt bad if I had one in twelve nine six then, but I think you've got to you've got to make those moves, haven't you? Even in the finals, it is only punished one in twelve nine six times. So yeah, that was obviously a pretty successful half. And now for the crucial KO rolls. Both of mine came back. And his guy stayed out. Huge. And obviously I was on I was on twelve. So um sorry, it'll switch back because now it's my offensive drive. Um so it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have cared if one hadn't come back. Obviously, I would have really needed the agility five on the pitch, and I really needed the strength four witch on the pitch. But at least I would have had eleven players. So I wouldn't. It wouldn't have been a disaster if one hadn't come back. But it was a disaster his not coming back because now he's only got eight guys, hasn't he? Which um, isn't really enough against eleven. Yeah, and he had a babe and I didn't, and yet, and yet, and yet, his his stayed out and mine came back. So yeah, you know, all I've got to do now is not blow it, isn't it? <laughs> that's that, that's all I'm thinking now is just don't don't blow them hatch. Um, he's it looks like he's pretty much done, um, but he, he can I can let him into it if I play bad. There's there's a chance if I play bad he gets into it, isn't it? So now it's just trying to be super safe, um, which is why I had the the strength four back in case he got a blitz or anything, you know. Um, his throw has dump off <laughs> randomly. Now he could be good in an elf matchup. It's one more win required um, after this after this potential victory to get in the money. So yes, yeah, so obviously I do it from this angle so I can get a follow up box on him um, if I don't power him. Straight into a double skull. I'm like, oh man. At least I, I'm, I'm like, thank God I have that extra reroll. Get the KO. Absolutely massive. So now he hasn't got his agility 5 wrestle. Like, obviously the strip not an issue, but agility 5 wrestles an, an insane cage bombing threat, isn't it? I've got no guard, so... I was very happy to get him. And now he's got 7 players, so now he's really hardly got any chance. And he decides to... um. To make a charge with his with his strength four blitzer here, blitzer catcher, and um, yeah, I'm like, and then he screens with the rest, so I'm like, all right, he's getting blitzed and fouled, then isn't he? <laughs> you know, like this this is um, this is basic, and it's funny because at the end, I was like. The cars, the cars have been ridiculous, and he's like, "Not really," and I'm like, "Yeah, they have, man." <laughs> I, I was really lucky against him. There's, there's no point trying to deny it. I mean, even though I thought I played quite well in the first half, apart from a couple of mistakes. Um, yeah, I went, I went, went for the wrestle blitz, just so that, um, you know, yeah, I'd definitely get him down for the foul. And as it was stunned, obviously, I'm not going to foul a stunned player. Screen with the unskilled guy, so he can't he can't blitz a good player. And uh, set up for the foul next turn. Yeah, because I've got that guy as well. So yes, yeah, screen with a four, screen with the four scrubs. He can just stay back for now because he doesn't need to. Uh, I don't need to let him get lucky, do I? And then so like a double screen. And I measured the distance of how far they could go to make sure I, I couldn't be faced even. And now it's time for the random death on alignment. And I really thought about appling it. Because I'm like, you know, in the next round it's going to be against Chaos or Orcs. So I really, really wanted 12 players for the next match. And I really thought about that point yet, but 
What are you doing? You know, the uh, apple would have probably failed anyway. So now now he's gets surrounded, doesn't he? Um obviously bludge bludge step, diamond tackle. Put the ball up there as well. I thought that was a good idea. Maybe it wasn't. The unskilled chaps screening. And get a devastating foul. I should have moved him across one as well. This left a hole in the screen. That was pretty bad. Make the foul. Double one. Don't even stun him. Wow. That was pretty... I was pretty sad about that foul. <laughs> but particularly because I hadn't moved this guy. I was just like, that was really bad. Because now he gets to come through here and put pressure on. Obviously he puts he makes a one dice blitz to try and you know escape the diamond tackle. And because he's got guard here I can't hit him back and stuff. But yeah, it was so bad leaving that that gap there. But I mean it, it's really hard for him because he knows that I can score at any time and I just win don't I once I'm two nil up. So I mean it was it was incredibly difficult for him. I maybe should have tried to get this guy over the halfway line. You know, for a potential scoring threat at any time. So yeah, went for the went for the YouTube cage here. This was a bit dodgy as well if I didn't power this catcher. But um, and I did a one dice block here, just just because he's got guard. So like, who else am I going to hit? If I go for the guard, then there's him afterwards and. I don't know, I just felt like I really had to deal with his strength 4 threat because he can just dive on the cage every turn. He's got strength 4 in tackle. Um, so I really just didn't want him dive bombing the cage with this, uh, this strength 4 player. And now I've only got him so I can't foul, so I'm like... One dice, the reason for the one dice bl blitz here was to push him away. Um, I thought it was quite a nice little chain to like defend the ball a little bit. And now it's really hard for him to escape the diamond tackle. Yeah, I, prob I probably misplayed that turn, but the, just the it was just you know it was I don't know. So I've probably misplayed a little bit here, and now he's now he's randomly just got people basing the cage. Obviously, throws everything at it, and I'm like. Makes an unassisted dirty player foul. Stunned and sent off. Pretty good. So I was happy with that, but obviously the stun was huge because she was going to jump up block or jump up block one of these two. I couldn't him because of the guard. The guard was pretty problematic, you know, dodge guard and all of this. Got a nice power on him. And that I could chain. Chain here if it was a push he could block. And if it was a pow, obviously he can clear. But Singh's actually got the, the lucky pow. It was an, an easy clear. Bit of a scary 2 plus now without dodge. I just left that because I thought if he wants to commit players to try and do something there, that's that's better for me, isn't it? He gets the power. And he did blitz because, like, you know, he, he should be trying to get in the way, shouldn't he, with that? Now he gets a two assist foul in without dirty player. Get some hands. But thank God. Thank God it was just a badly hurt. And I still had an apple anyway. But that just gives up the pitch though, doesn't it? I'm like, well, he's just lost now. <laughs> he's just lost by doing that, is what I'm thinking. Because I get to move up the pitch. Yeah, I would have liked to have blitzed him first. So I could have gone just completely diagonally and got further away from him. I couldn't get as far away as I wanted. 
but I thought let's let's make it completely safe so that if I do double one I don't just lose the game last thing you want is for a double one to cost you the game isn't it because he's still got a chance even though he's only got about six elves he's still got a chance get the greed reroll that because I've got my extra one would never have re-rolled that if I hadn't got the extra re-roll inducement. Obviously, so hide the witch elf and hide him because I think at this point he's re he's resigned to going out, you know, and that's why he's making the fouls. So I thought protect my um, protect my two best players there. And now he finally goes for the five plus dodge in to two dice with tackle. And also, I thought if he does go for that, then um, I'm going to have more players around the ball line if they've got the witch elf that side. So now it's now it's sticky handoff time. So there we got the uh, got a random removal there, which was nice because there's another tackler gone, wasn't he? Could he reach? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he could reach actually. But I've, obviously I just decided to set up a, a network of tackle zones here and go for the handoff to skill up the Witch Elf. Because the Witch Elf's on 75. Sadly couldn't go for a pass in the rain. And I rolled lots of pals to be fair, not just on not just on blodges, but on normal people sometimes. But rolled a lot of pals. A lot of cars, a lot of KOs. I was really pretty lucky this game. I think I think I was very lucky, and he he said that I wasn't at the end, but I thought I really was lucky. Very lucky. This is quite funny. Try with the hand off, and then it it bounces back to the agility five, and he catches it. And again, he was just going to go for a foul, wasn't he? He just blitzed him. He could have he could have gone four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. You could have tried to have got, you know, a, a one dice on the ball, maybe, or something. But just didn't even try. I think he had definitely given up when he fell the witch elf. And then made, made the three plus to skill the witch. Happy days. It didn't didn't matter them coming back now. So backline everybody, and um, the witch did roll the normal. So I, I mean that was the thing. I nearly didn't hand off because I thought, do I, if I roll a normal, what do I want? And then I thought, well, Fen's okay, isn't it? Blodge step, tackle, diving tackle, Fend is is absolutely fine. It's not super exciting, but it's fine. And I'm still quite low TV overall, so I thought. Fen's all right, so that's why I scored. If if I couldn't have thought of a good skill for her, I would have just scored with a movement, with the agility five guy. Yeah. And got a blitz randomly. So I I just made, did a little dance, because I thought, why not? A little celebration of getting to the final, the the quarterfinals, and now obviously I'm clenching here because I'm thinking, what if he gets a a death that the apple fills? And I mean, my apple could have failed on that death, but I really, I really did feel like I should have maybe done it because at eleven players is going to make is going to make the quarterfinal tough. It's against Chaos or Orcs, and it's going to be a tough match with eleven. Even with twelve, it'd be tough, but with eleven, it's going to be. Super dicey. I mean, that's what I said to him. But by, by, like he kind of had to go to eleven because he had to deny the wizard. Because me having a wizard and agility five, show hands and a movement nine, he kind of had to deny the wizard. But then, elves at eleven men are always going to be super dicey. So, um, yeah, I think, I think in a way he. Um, 
messed up there. I think in a way he, he had to go to 11 because he had to deny the wizard. But it did make random removals were going to be super influential and, and obviously they were. Really can't, really can't complain about that game. I was really, really rather lucky. Um, and as you can see, we ended up, thanks to him making those those three AV bricks and Kaz and the KO on the last turn, it ends up that we've got almost the same attrition caused. He outblocked me in the end, crazily. And um, overall, we both took three kills and three Kaz, but he just took his at the right time for me, didn't he? And um, yeah. There you go. His cast came from a frustration file when he'd already lost. So right, that was that was it. I thought I thought I did play quite well, but yeah, there were there were definitely some mistakes there. I think I think I should have uh, guarded against the handoff to the catcher better or pass to the catcher better, and I may I maybe should have just taken that surf rather than going for the the seventy five percent shot for the ball. Um, but obviously, second half is pretty much done. The second half was was a bit of a damn squib, but I thought the first half was quite interesting, <laughs> especially as I thought I had a wizard for most of it. Um, there you go. So my second round match will be against um, Chaos or Orcs, and the winner will get 100 euros at least, which is pretty good, isn't it? So, if, so stay tuned for that, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.